Plus, I like beer. Uh, I also like wine. Mm. Oh. Mm. The executive editor of Wine Spectator reveals the very best wine for 2018. We'll test the best and reveal the winner right here as the second hour of Squawk Box begins right now. It's Friday, I'm in love. Monday, you can fall apart. Live from the beating heart of business, New York, this is Squawk Box. Coming up, the executive editor of Wine Spectator joins us with the number one wine for 2018. It's right here. I'm not allowed to lift it up because this could come off. I can't even lift it up the slightest bit. That's it. I have a paper bag over that. I have two paper bags in case the first one rips. Anyway, uh, it's, it's holiday is fast approaching. You want to make sure you have a bottle ready to go. We'll tell you what it is. Do I have it pointed to it? I don't know that either. I know nothing. I'm Sergeant Schultz. We'll be back right after the break. Wine Spectator is out with the uh, best wines of 2018, and we've got number one uh, this morning. Number one joining us uh, to unveil the bottle. We're actually going to pop the cork. Tom Matthews, executive editor of Wine Spectator. I heard we weren't allowed to pop the cork, but I hear that the, the grand poobah of, of, of all this, Marvin Schenken, Marvin says Schenken that, loves your show, and so exceptionally, he says we can open the it's bottle. It's a great, uh, I mean, what, what he did with, with aficion, Cigar Aficionado and with Wine Spectator, I mean, it's unbelievable. And... Uh, you know more about wine, I think, than I do. But I need no, help. You, I you, don't. you really don't. I would drink. If that's two buck chuck under there. It is uh, not two buck chuck. Let's unveil it. Let's uh, and let's try it because it, once again, Italy is the place, is it not? And I can attest to that. Uh, I've so visited. let me set the stage. Set the stage. Wine for. Spectator rates more than fifteen thousand wines in blind tastings each year. From them, we choose a hundred of the very best. Not necessarily the highest scoring. But the most exciting, value, quality, story. And we boil that down to 100 wines, and this is number one. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's do All right, it. number one wine of 2018. And it might be from Italy, I see. Is Tenuto Sanguido Sassacaya 2015, a Cabernet-based red from the Bulgari region of Tuscany. Oh. Cost $245 a bottle. and scored 97 okay. points. Wow. And now I'm going to... Do Anything the operation. you consider uh, is, is over 90, is that correct? That's correct. That's about a third of the wines that we review it go, are over Does 90. it go across the board? It, it could be a sparkling? Sure, we have a, we have a sparkling in the top 10 this year. Rose, Rosés are hot, aren't they? We have a John Bon Jovi Rosé in the top 100 oh, this year. Oh, wow. You're yes. kidding me. No. Yeah, is that just a coincidence, that. or is that really from uh, no, it's him? Really him? No, it's really him. Okay. So th yeah. this yeah. one... It'd be like Arm & Hammer yeah. if it wasn't... Uh, Right? The reason we chose this wine is f because it has the pedigree of an aristocrat and the soul of a pioneer. Is, it, it, is the number one wine always so do red? I, I think. Uh, I don't, no. No, it doesn't have to be red. That's so cool. Let me say that again. What, what was it again? The pedigree of an aristocrat and the Check. soul of a pioneer. That's me. Uh, in addition to that, no. This uh, began as a home winemaking project in 1940. Mar Mario and Cesare de la Rochetta, an Italian nobleman, moved to the t his estate on the Tuscany coast. He missed the Bordeaux that he drank in Rome, and so he planted some Cabernet vines in the hills behind his house. Bulgari, at that point, was very rustic, made just plonk. This was different and better, and in 1968, Piero Antonori, the great vintner, uh, convinced wow. Mario to commercialize it. How hard is it going to be to find this wine now? That it well, they made 17,000 cases, so okay. there's a lot. There's a lot. And It'll what, be on restaurant wine lists. And yeah, so what is it? What is this decision going to do for their business? Well, not just this year, but frankly, I imagine the next on the five radar years. For forever. Yes, uh, this is only the fourth Italian wine ever to be named number one. Really? They're going to be celebrating in Italy. Um, you bought? Do, do they know in advance? Mm -mm. So they're watching right now and finding out. They could be. And they hopefully they're throwing. Do a party we need to, to, to put the little breather? You, no. you bought one of those for me, the little breather. Bottle stopper. I no, bought the a breather. breather. The breather. A long time ago. A long time yeah. ago. It wasn't really a fair trade because I got him a queen. So 245 might sound like a lot of money, but for a 97 point wine, the average price. We don't price need to let it breathe. No. Was oh. 350. 350. So there's actually a value. Cheers. Do we actually? Cheers. Are you supposed to slice it around like that? I never yes. know why people do that. That because it releases the aromas. That's, that's, we're that's to, a we're toasting a Marvin yeah. South. He's good. Marvin South is very good. That's Thank good. you. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's so very smooth. I don't usually drink nice. red wine. 2015, a great vintage right. in uh, Italy, especially in Tuscany. 
And the great thing about this wine, it'll be even better in 20 or 30 years, and it'll be more valuable. The 1985 Sasakaya was released at $48 currently sells at auction for over $1,800. Okay, so we should go buy cases of this as an investment. Yes, if your suggestion. If okay. you had done it yesterday. Too late. Right. Too late. Yeah. So Is there I, insider information on this? Do you think people knew? Are there any, do, you, do you know anybody who knew yesterday who went and bought cases? Not that we know of. I mean, you didn't even know. No, yeah. we didn't. Our employees even here, to buy? I didn't know. Did yeah. you buy? Did you no, buy no, any? No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Yeah. yeah. So, Spirits, again, though, uh, the biggest market share gains, again, this year, first versus wine. You wine know, up a little, point three tenths of a percent or so? 25 years of increase in the wine market, 325 million cases. But not as much as, as spirits, spirits are going up. Up bigger. We estimate that by 2020, spirits will overtake wine and beer in value. Hmm. Wow, but still, how many, how many million cases sold in the U.S.? Some, like, 325 for wine, 240 for spirits. Million. Cases, yep. uh, for wine so. By the way, there's just for a plug, there's a lot more information about this wine and all the top 100 yes. on winespectator.com. Wine Spectator. Where we're revealing Can we just talk the wines. about uh, cork versus screw? Yes. I think they should all be screw. I agree. Uh, I know. You agree with that? Is, yes. I know a lot about cork. Cork's it. very difficult to get. It comes from, I think, of Sicily. Doesn't it part of uh, Sicily? At least it's sometimes it comes from the cork tree, mm -hmm. and you need a certain kind. I mean, it's a. I mean, it's a. But it works. It breathes. I don't, why do you think screw is the way? I, I don't know. It can go bad more with cork in it. But the cork, I, I, to their credit, the cork producers have made extreme efforts to improve the quality and reduce the incidence of faulty closure. So, uh, you know, the, the, the competition has forced them to it respond. It isn't anymore. It, top. I don't believe that. Tell them I'm right on this one. No. You can still make it. You can make an amazing wine without cork, correct? The current governor of California, Gavin Newsom, puts his $75 Cabernet Sauvignon under scrutiny. Gavin Newsom is going to be the authority. I was just at Banffy, and they, they, the cork is the most important thing, right? It's a prestige and image thing and oh, history well, well, and tradition. I'm not, uh, I'm not He's an aristocrat, remember? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the soul of a pioneer, my friend. Yeah. All right. There you go. Tom, thank you. It was You're great welcome. to have you on. Cheers. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, Spectator Thanks. Magazine. Appreciate My pleasure. It.